This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome. This video is in the Seismology and Earthquakes playlist, and we're looking today at how to find the foot wall. If you have a fault system, a bunch of fault blocks, how do we find the foot wall? And that will then tell us what the hanging wall is. Let's assume that we have this layer of rock. We had the stress, the crustal deformation, we had the movement, and we have this fracture right here in this fault line. And we have block one, we have block two. Now to find the foot wall, as opposed to the hanging wall, foot wall is what doesn't move. It's that stable, in place, original layer of rock. When we try and find the foot wall versus the hanging wall, we're looking at the allochthonus, which is a Greek word which kind of derives from the sediment or rock that is in the starting place. It's kind of figuring out which rock was there originally, which rock is moving. So there's two terms. There's the foot wall and the hanging wall. There's another terms we can use, which is lakathon, which is the hanging wall, and the, the autochthon, which is the two different variations of which one's which. Foot wall is the autochthon, and that's going to be the one that's going to place originally. The method I use for my students in class as I ask them, I have, they have a sheet of paper like this with this exact drawing, and I'm doing this on the board or the smart board, and I'm saying, okay, put a little X anywhere you want along the fault line. Now, this fault line can be diagonal at different angles. You can go slant down to the left or slant down to the right. It's up to you. Now, you can also have varying angles, too. It could be very a low angle versus a high angle, you know, over 30 degrees or 45, and that can introduce different kinds of faults. So you can change it where you want. You can also discuss that there are types of blocks that have a vertical fault line, which is usually going to be a transform fault or strike slip, but this one here is easier just to use a diagonal. So you have your X's in place. Now, you have to start on the X, and I want you guys to draw down vertical line and have an arrow, as vertical as you can. Now, this is freehand. You can also use a ruler if you want, or even a protractor to get exact angles, but basically going down. You basically make an arrow going down, down direction. Whatever side the arrows fall on, this side over here, this block, this block one, this block one is going to be the foot wall or the autochthon. So this one is going to be the one originally in place, and the foot wall does not move, stays in place. So that means if the foot wall is to the right, block one, according to the arrows, then block two is going to be the hanging wall. Now this one is going to be the one that moves. Now I put an arrow in different directions based on the, the orientation of the fault plane, which is right here. Fault plane is that flat surface that denotes there's movement either side and the fault line. The hanging wall is going to move. It's going to be dynamic. And this is also the, the allochthon. So we have established that the foot wall and hanging wall, using the arrows, using the fault line, the fault plane to figure out which one's the foot wall and which one is the hanging wall. Now, what do we do with this? We could figure out the angle of the fault plane. We could also figure out the direction of movement of the hanging wall. And that would denote or assign a type of fault to the relative movement of that hanging wall. And the type of fault, this would lead on to the features. For example, you might get a fault scar. You might get a transfer fault. You might get various levels and planes develop as a consequence of this zone. Figure out the orientation, the dip, which is the angle, and also the strike. And put in there also the inclination. So this will all be done in future videos, so please check them out. And also check out the videos on rock deformation as well on the playlist. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, check out more videos on our channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again.